In this video, I'm going to show you how to play ambient pads for worship in ProPresenter. What's up YouTube, my name is Jake with churchfront.com, an online resource for innovative and creative church leaders. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your church. Worship pads are one of the best ways to fill in the sound of your worship band. And pads are extremely simple to integrate into your worship ministry because pads are just simple audio files that you can play back on almost any device. One of the best ways to play pads in worship is to use Use ProPresenter presentation software. ProPresenter is super powerful. Not only can it play your slides, but it also can queue up the right audio at the right time. So in this video, I want to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up ambient worship pads in ProPresenter. So I'm going to get behind my computer and I'll show you how to download and start running pads in ProPresenter. The first step is to go to your web browser and go to churchfrontpads.com. And here you can request access to download our free Churchfront pads. My friend Boomer made them for you. They have this beautiful warm tone to them. They're available in all 12 keys of music so you can use them for any worship song. Hundreds of worship leaders have already downloaded these pads and they love them. So I know you will love these pads as well. So go to the bottom of the page, click the button, enter in your information. And then in a few moments, you're going to receive an email from me. And the subject line of the email is says, here are your free worship pads. Go ahead and open that email and click the download link. It's going to bring you to where the pads are hosted at dropbox.com. Click on the MP3 files folder. That's what I recommend for most people. You can use the WAVE folder if you like containing the WAVE audio files, but the MP3 files are gonna save you space on your computer. And then click the download link on the top right and just select direct download. You can also add them to your Dropbox if you have a Dropbox account. Once the files are downloaded into your downloads folder, go ahead and unzip that file and you'll see your folder containing your MP3 files on your computer. It's in your downloads folder. So I would recommend copying and pasting that somewhere on your computer locally, maybe in your documents folder there. That's what I'm gonna do. And now we can go into ProPresenter. When you get inside ProPresenter, you need to open up the audio player window that's gonna show up on the right side here. And you're going to create a new playlist. And let's call this playlist Church Front Pads. And then we're going to drag in our MP3 files to the playlist. So I'm going to select them all, drag them in there. And then I'm going to uh, select all of these pads. And I'm going to adjust the playback behavior. You can right click after you select them all and then go to playback behavior and go to set them to loop. So you don't ever have to worry about a pad running out and stopping. It'll constantly just loop so long as it's as that pad is queued up and triggered. And now you can test out the pads. You can see they're good to go. And you can also adjust the fade time of how long it takes for the pads to fade in or out. So listen to this. And I'll adjust the fade time right here. So up to two seconds. That can create some nice seamless transitions for you as you queue up the different pads in different keys. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. And adding pad cues to your ProPresenter documents for your different songs is super simple. Let's pretend that O Come to the Altar is in the key of A. I'm just gonna click on the pads in A, drag it and drop it here, and then we can see that the audio cue is ready to go. So when I click on O Come to the Altar, the title slide, or whoever's running ProPresenter, whoever cues up the first slide of that song, it's also gonna cue up the pads from your ProPresenter computer. And now I'll go down to the next song, Nobody Like You. Let's say that song is in the key of G. I'll drag the cue there. And now when I cue up the title slide there, it's gonna slowly transition over 2.5 seconds into the key of G pads. And then we have another song down here. Let's pretend it was in the key of C. I'll drag it on that title slide. 
And there we go, we have the pads running in the background for that song as well. So when I click on these different title slides, it's gonna change the pad sounds with the appropriate songs. You may want the flexibility for your ProPresenter operator to clear out the pads, adjust the audio without having to clear off the slide. So you can add that to your toolbar, go to View, go to Customize Toolbar, and then click on Clear Audio, and then just drag that up to your toolbar next to the other clear icons. So now, if you had the pads playing, you could just clear the audio out from the background and it's gonna have a nice fade out. And again, that fade is determined by the length that you have down here underneath your audio player. And finally, you just have to make sure that your ProPresenter computer is plugged into your soundboard. In most cases, it is, because you probably play videos uh, and other forms of media from your ProPresenter computer. Uh, so I bet you're probably all ready to go, but just wanted to make note of the fact that uh, you want your ProPresenter computer to be hooked to your sound system so the pads do come through the main PA, and you can also send pads to your musician's monitor mix. And that's how you run ambient worship pads in ProPresenter. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you share this video with your friends in ministry who may want to try running pads in ProPresenter. If you found this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up button and leave some love below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the Church Front channel so you can receive all of our latest content to help you grow yourself and grow your church.